The question is that this bill be now read a second time. I call the member for the Upper Hunter. Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm interested to, uh, I'm very pleased to, to uh, speak in support of this bill, but I was interested to hear some of the words uh, from the member for Blue Mountains only a few minutes ago when she said Labor is not going to support such legislation because it's anti-democratic, it's draconian and everything else that goes with it. Oh However, the Leader of the Opposition, the Leader of the Labor Party, on the 24th of March 2015, in a letter to the Minerals Council, stated, we recognise that trespassing is dangerous and illegal. New South Wales residents will always have the right to protest legally, but Labor will never condone illegal activity or activity that could endanger lives. Labor will work with industry, police and environment groups on reforms to protect the mine workers while respecting people's rights, rights and peaceful pro or pe right to peaceful protest. Well, now's your opportunity to, re to support the reforms that are going to do exactly that. And I'll start to read them out for you because clearly you haven't read them yet. It was their policy. Mr Deputy Speaker, the Enclosed Lands, Crimes and Law, Law Enforcement Legislation Amendment Interference Bill 2016 provides higher penalties and stronger enforcement powers, as promoted by the Labor opposition, to deter unlawful protests that negatively impacts on business and the community. We know that the opposition to date, both from the Greens and Labor, and many of the protesters are based on ideology and got nothing to do with the practicality, nor is it got anything to do with the, the welfare and the safety of the protesters and the police and everyone else that has to get involved. You heard the stories that are articulated by the member for Tamworth about potentially lethal activities that have occurred in the past. And you are telling me that you will not support the any form of legislation you will have your that will protect these people. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding the people of New South Wales? Because if you're not, you must just be kidding yourself, because no one's going to, going to believe you. Increased illegal and unsafe uh, protesting activities at mine sites are creating significant risks to the public and increasing costs for police and mining operators. Current penalties and enforcement powers are not adequate to protect negative impacts or repetition of illegal behaviour causing harm, including protesters using lock-on devices. The current definition of a mine has made prosecution for mine interference laws difficult. Mr Deputy Speaker, the bill makes a number of amendments, including one. Amending the Enclosed Lands Protection Act 1901 to create an aggravated unlawful entry on enclosed lands with a maximum penalty of $5,500. Two, amending the Crimes Act 1900 to extend the meaning of a mine in connection with the existing indictable offence of intentionally or recklessly interfering with a mine. Three, amending the Law Enforcement Powers and Responsibilities Act 2002 to confer additional search and seizure powers for police to deal with persons who intend to lock on or secure a person to any plant, equipment or structure for the purpose of interfering with the conduct of a business or undertaking and that is likely to give rise to a serious risk to the safety of a person, as has been identified previously. Four, amending the Law Enforcement Powers and Responsibilities Act 2002 to remove limitations on the exercise of police powers to give directions in public places to prevent obstructions of persons or traffic for a demonstration, protest, procession or organised assembly. Mr Deputy Speaker, the Enclosed Lands, Crimes and Law Enforcement Legislation Amendment Interference Bill 2016 will increase the penalties and police powers to help deter unlawful and unsafe protest activities and enable mining and other businesses to conduct their activities uninhibited as they should. By defining mine in the Crimes Act 1900, it will clarify that all mining activities, including construction, exploration, decommissioning and making safe, and any equipment at a mine or petroleum workplace are covered by the interfering with a mine offence. The new definition will ensure that the offence reflects the modern understanding of a mine, which has significantly changed uh, since mining first commenced in Australia. 
It also reflects modern work practices where many different businesses are involved in the conduct of mining and petroleum operations and plant and equipment are not necessarily owned or controlled by one person or company. The definitions will make enforcement and prosecution of the mine interference offences more effective. The Enclosed Lands, Crimes and Law Enforcement Legislation Interference Bill 2016 was developed collaboratively with the Department of Justice, the New South Wales Police Force and the Department of Industry, the people that actually know what they're doing. These amendments ensure better protection for businesses from those protesters who deliberately, intentionally and critically unlawfully disrupt the conduct of business or undertaking. At the same time, they preserve the right, and I'll remind everyone here, they preserve the right to lawfully protest. This government is committed to ensuring that people are able to exercise their right to communicate their opinions and ideas on matters of concern, but through a peaceful and lawful protest. Yeah. These amendments are important and necessary, and without these amendments there is another risk of further unlawful disruption by protesters that threatens the lives and safety and lives of protesters and workers, as well as cause significant costs for business. So, in closing, if I were the Labor opposition, I would be listening to your leader because he has supported, he has supported these amendments or these uh, improvements to the law. So what you should do, what you should do, is come on this side and actually start talking in favour of it and support your leader, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I commend the bill to.